Welcome back to GearWire.com. We are looking at Notion, and I'm going to explore the world of uh, orchestration for strings. Now, you'll see I've got a nice little layout here. The way I set this up was I went into New, and I selected Violin, Viola, Cello, Bass, and clicked Add, and then clicked OK, and you'll see it gives you a preview over here in the window. Now, what I have is I have notes that I've assigned with rests and staccato notes. I'll play those back for you really quickly. And I have a trill that's not quite working. Now, you'll notice my trill set to sharp. In this case, the uh, sharp just wasn't really working with what I was trying to do, so I want to go over my ornaments and add a flat trill. Let's play that back. Now, let's say you want to add the trill that's a little bit higher up, we can keep that and create a chord to create the effect of three different violins playing. You can also create another violin staff if you want to have a separate violin playing it. Of course, many times in orchestras, the conductor will assign which violin plays which note, but let's explore this really quickly and see what happens when we add more notes. Well, this is interesting. There's actually a bug in the program where I can't get on to my staff right now. You'll see whenever I try to access my staff, I'm getting stuck. So what we're going to do is get out of this and create a whole new staff to make a string line. I'm going to go to New and do what we did before. And now we have a fresh line set to common time. I'm going to hit Shift K and set my key signature to, uh, let's see, B flat. I've been using that pretty regularly lately. Select my 16th note by hitting S, and just really quickly program some basic bass, violin, cello, and viola. Now keep an eye out for the fact that you can actually do some copying in here by, oh, now notice that you can do actual copying and pasting in here. If I uh, hit Apple C and hit paste, I get automatic notes added to my measure. Okay, so now I have my bass line. Let's see what happens when I go up and create some cellos. My cellos are just going to be straight notes, but, oh, undo there. Again, I can select these, and I can copy and paste. Oh, undo. want to make sure that I'm pasting in the same staff. Now, one thing different I'm going to do to these is actually go over to my box here for expression. I'm going to pick not ornaments, but articulations, and I'm going to pick a staccato. I want every other of these to be a staccato note. 